The only goal we have is to win the Super Bowl. should be favorites. The Jets are coming. We're going to give you everything we got. More than you can handle. The most physical football team in the NFL will win a Super Bowl with this group of players. The Jets have taken the lead. Sean Green takes it the distance. matchup that nobody wanted, but too bad. Here we come. That's just the way this game's going to be played. Continental Airlines presents the Jets Road to Glory. Well, this is what they play for, the chance to head to Super Bowl 44. The New York Jets find themselves just one win away from taking that trip to South Florida. Hi, everybody. I'm Sam Ryan, and welcome to Road to Glory as we take you through this Jets improbable run. The Jets touched down in Indianapolis just a short time ago on the eve of the AFC Championship game against Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts. New York bringing momentum and the confidence into the game as they arrive in Indy. So it's one of those things, that the reason why we're confident is because we prepare hard, we work really hard all through the week, and I believe in my teammates, and I think that if we lean on each other, uh, offense, defense, and special teams, it gives us a chance. Uh, you know it's going to be a, uh, uh, a tough environment tomorrow, you know, playing against a very good football team, but we believe in ourselves, and we believe that uh, we can get the job done. I mean, every week now, it's 20% harder, 20% uh, more intense when you start the playoffs, so this is unexplored territory for us, for me, uh, and uh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. And so are the fans. And joining me right now and throughout the show this evening is CBS owned WFN Radio's Craig Carton from the Boomer and Carton in the Morning Show. Or... And I am bringing momentum and confidence with me, too. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. I kind of believe that, too. Or we call it Carton and Boomer, too. Thanks for coming in. And we are not through joining us. Super Bowl three champion running back Emerson Boozer, a member of the last and only Jets <laughs> victorious Super Bowl team. Welcome. Uh, well, thank you, Sam uh, and Carden. My man. <laughs> <laughs> nice and being here with you. Also, one of the Jets' all-time great receivers, two-time Pro Bowler, who helped lead the Jets to the 1982 AFC Championship game, Wesley Walker, joining us. Thanks for coming, Wes. It's a pleasure to be here, Sam, and uh, I want to say hi to Craig, too. I'm glad to be here, and go Jets. I'm pulling for them. They're in my heart. So, so much more here from New York, but first we're going to send it out to where they're going to be playing the game, where CBS 2's Otis Livingston is in Indianapolis, and he joins us live right now to tell us what he has coming up. Hey, Otis. Hey, Sam, I'm indeed in the place to be here in Indianapolis, the Weston Hotel, the Team Hotel. Look who's stopped by to give us a few minutes before tomorrow's AFC Championship game. Leading rusher, Thomas Jones. We'll also have New York Post writer Mark Canazaro stopping by and my one-on-one -on -one interview with offensive lineman Damian Woody. Look who else is down here in Indianapolis. My colleague, Hazel Sanchez. Hazel, what you got for us? we got a couple of fun stories coming up for you. How appropriate is it that you have Hazel Sanchez doing a story on Mark Sanchez? What a rookie season he's had. We'll take a look back. Also, it's a battle between two cities. Which city is better, New York or Indianapolis? Is it really any contest? We'll take that question to the fans. Those stories are coming up. And for now, we'll send it back to you, Sam, in the studio. Okay, Hazel, thanks a lot. I notice we're going to send it back to you in just a bit. So they are here, the Jets, one of four teams remaining in the NFL playoffs and one win away from heading to the Super Bowl, a team with a rookie quarterback and a rookie head coach. So let's take a look at how they got here. The message to, you know, to the rest of the league is, hey, the, 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 uh, the Jets are coming. And we're going to give you everything we got. And, and that's going to be, I, I think, more than you can handle. First order of business, find a franchise quarterback, and his name was Mark Sanchez, who quickly developed the nickname Sanchez after piloting the Jets to an improbable start. How many people thought the Jets were going to open up 3-0? Since then, the team has been flying high with postseason wins over the Bengals and Chargers. And now less than 24 hours away from earning a trip to Super Bowl 44 in Miami, it's certainly been a roller coaster season for New York. This magical ride for the Jets will continue in Indianapolis. 
Indianapolis. It's been crazy. I, you, you couldn't draw this script up any different. Uh, you know, we had to pull together. We said, you know, let's, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, really, it was just about getting to the playoffs. You know, get to the playoffs, make a run, and you never know what happened. It's been up and down, but uh, it's been a lot of good times and mixed in there. It's been some down, some down time as well, but. Um, at the end of the day, if we continue to win and, and, and win a couple more games here, it can be a story. But again, it's it's a wild ride. You know, it's uh, there's a lot that you live through in, in a season. It, it feels like an entire lifetime. We had a chance at the end of the season, and, and we're taking full advantage of it now and, and really uh, rising the occasion. Joining us right now, a fan favorite and all-time Jets great, Wesley Walker, dominant player from the 1982 playoffs. Wesley, you played one of the four Jets teams that made it to the AFC Championship game. So what type of advice would you give the players going into this one tomorrow? Well, you have to prepare. That's number one. I'm sure the Jets will be paired, and you have to be really focused. But the bottom line is when the time comes, you know, at 3 o'clock, you have to come ready to play and uh, you go home if you don't and that is a bad feeling. I don't think that people know the magnitude of the game especially the AFC championship and when you don't have the experience and even as veteran players you don't get there often and you may not get there ever again. Uh, you can talk about it being just a, a regular game just another game you're going as a business trip but it's a high profile this is what you work for you're one step from the Super Bowl. TJ standing by with Otis Livingston live in Indy. Hey Otis. Hey, Sam, I am indeed joined by the Jets leading ground gainer in the regular season, Thomas Jones. Thomas, thanks for joining us. No problem. 1,400 yards in regular season, but would you say that the fourth and one carry that you had in San Diego last week was the biggest of the year? Yeah, definitely. You know, the 1,400 yards, you know, obviously, you know, it was the best, best year of my career. You know, and it, it definitely helped us get to the playoffs, you know, but, you know, you do all that in the, in the regular season to get to the playoffs to have the opportunity to run for the one yard, you know, so you know, that fourth and one was definitely one of the biggest runs of my career. Were you guys aware of what Namath said prior to the game, or did you not find out about that until after you won the Super Bowl? No, we were aware of it the very next day. You were? Indeed, we were. Uh, How did guys react to it? Very well, because it, he was only echoing what had been said some, somewhat the night before. We uh, watched film of the Colts as a ball club, and we uh, shut the camera off. He says, you guys are too cocky. You're going to get your butts handed to you tomorrow. And Joe went out, <laughs> told the world that we're going to beat this club. Quick prediction for tomorrow's game. I like the Jets. I really do. I just think, you know, they're, they're, they feel like they can out-physical this team. They did it in San Diego. They, I talked to a lot of the guys during the week on the offensive line. They feel like they could do the same thing. I think it's going to be a lower scoring game than you think, and I think the Jets are going to win. Well, they break it down every Sunday on the NFL Today. We're going to check in with the guys and find out what they think the Jets need to do to be successful against the Colts. You do not want to get into a shootout with uh, Peyton Manning. That's not what you want. You could still win the game, but the chances of you winning the game are going to go down significantly. I think the one thing that they've been able to do is keep these games close, low scoring, ugly if you may, um, but keep it in the fourth quarter where now you can kind of impose yourself on the team. And they've done a very good job of doing that, and it'll be very, very important to do that tomorrow. Time of possession is going to be key. Um, I don't know if you can have five three and outs against the Colts, and expect to win the ball game because I think they're going to put too many points on the board and force you to make Mark Sanchez beat them. The one thing I'm concerned about is the Colts getting out to an early lead, taking them out of their game plan of running the football, uh, where, you know, Mark's going to have to make a lot more throws early in that game. For Craig, Otis, Hazel, and the entire crew here, I'm Sam Ryan. Have a great night, everybody. This is the best football team that we've had all year. It's a scary scenario to have Peyton Manning have the football with the game on the line. But you know what? I'll take that matchup. If Indy's going to beat us, you know, this is the best. We have absolutely no excuses. We have to play like Jets. 100% passion. 100% of everything that we have two games away from being world champions.